Hello, everyone. I am your host, Navi the Rabbi. If you are able to hit a ball, gate ball is a sport for everyone, male or female, tall or short, young or old. The more you know about gate ball, you'll be sure to get hooked on the offensive and defensive techniques and the fun of game strategy. Did you know that gate ball is a game of advanced intelligence strategies? Also, gate ball goes beyond generations and genders. It's a sport to develop teamwork. How great is it when various generations of people can deepen their bonds through team play? Gateball was born in Hokkaido, Japan in 1947. It has become an international game for over 10 million people in over 40 countries. Worldwide, lots more people are becoming fascinated with Gateball. Come on, now let's play Gateball! Now let me explain the rules of the game. Gate ball consists of two teams of five players, each in head-to-head -head competition. Members take turns to hit the ball and add to the scores. The highest total score decides the winning team. The team hitting first plays the red, odd number. Balls 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. And the team hitting later plays the white, even number. Balls 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Each player is given their own number and play in number order. The inner field of a court is 50 meter wide by 20 meter long. There are gates 1, 2, and 3 with a goal pole in the center. Each player follows the route as shown, passing their own ball through first, second, and third gates to hit the goal pole to finish. Going through a gate scores one point and hitting the goal pole scores two points. So a total of five points is the maximum score for a single player. When every player of either team finishes consecutively, it's a total of 25 points. This is called a perfect game. It's a win when either team scores 25 points and the other team can't catch up on its next turn. If the other team does catch up on the next turn, it's a draw. When the playing time exceeds 30 minutes and both teams cannot finish, the team with the highest total score wins. What makes skate ball more interesting is the rule of continuous play. When players meet a certain requirement, they are able to stroke more than once, so leading them to a more strategic position. One requirement is passing a gate. When a player succeeds in passing a gate, an additional stroke is given. Another is to touch another ball with your ball. When a player succeeds in touching another ball, they are allowed to take a spark. That is, to hit your own ball in contact with the touched ball while underneath your foot. When a spark is successful, the player may take another stroke. When your own ball or others go out of inside line, after normal stroking or sparking, that ball is considered an out ball. 
The player is only allowed to hit it back into bounds on their next turn. If you pass a gate or hit the goal pole from the outer field, the score will not count. Now that you know the rules, you're already a gate ball player. Now, let's play gate ball! Gate ball is a sport everyone can play in a very friendly manner. At the same time, it is a very advanced mental sport using many intelligent strategies. You will be blocked by the opponents if you simply aim at the goal pole. You will never win. To win, you have to be aware of what's happening on the court, using both offense and defense to cooperate with your teammates. Here we will be looking at some of the plays representing collision plays. Now let's watch how the real game goes. First, players from 1 to 10 aim at the first gate in numerical order. Players who pass the first gate are allowed to continue the play. Wonderfully, it touches red 5. An extra play is granted. Shooting red 5 out of bounds by sparking, it also succeeds in a touch on red 3. Hits red 3 out of bounds, then touches white 8. Next by sparking, takes white 8 closer to red 9. It's now the turn of white 10. Sparking has made white 6 go through gate 3. Then white 10 hits two opponents fall out of bounds and succeeds in pass touch. It is now a tied score. Two extra plays are granted. White 10 aims at the goal pole, but white 10 still has a play remaining. And there's a goal! Now 30 minutes of competition time has passed. After the final shot of white 2, this game will be over. The final result is 13 to 10. It was a great upset victory over the white team. Hope you enjoyed gate ball. Next is your turn to play. Let's play gate ball.